flames and thick black smoke could be seen from the stacks at Algoma Steel Saturday morning. A power surge experienced by most of the area around 10.30 Saturday morning may have a trigger to fire in the coke ovens. Many on social media were alarmed by the thick black smoke as it encompassed the steel plant with that power failure leaving the operation in the dark for about an hour. No reports of injuries or damages at this point. Yesterday, Conservative leader Andrew Scheer said Prime Minister Justin Trudeau must lift a gag order and ensure Jody Wilson-Raybould can speak the full truth about her decision to leave Cabinet. Scheer said at a news conference in Ottawa that the SNC-Lavalin controversy has exposed a crisis of moral and ethical leadership in Trudeau's office, adding an online campaign is underway to support Wilson-Raybould. MPs are to hold an emergency session of the House of Commons Justice Committee on Wednesday and Wilson Raybould has previously said she would be willing to return to provide additional testimony. Shear said Liberal MPs on the committee need to support Wilson Raybould coming back to shed additional light on the scandal, suggesting if they do not, it would suggest the Prime Minister has something to hide. Wilson Raybould previously told the Justice Committee she was subjected to relentless, inappropriate pressure to stop the trial of the engineering giant on bribery and fraud charges related to contracts in Libya. Vinyl enthusiasts brave the weather to attend the Fishbowl Festival's Vinyl Listening Party and Trivia event at Maker North yesterday. The event where people can bring their own vinyl to share with everyone as well as buy vinyl from various retailers is just one of the many during the Fishbowl Festival. It's a community food, arts and culture festival that runs from February 20th to March 20th each year. Today is the Vinyl Listening Party. Uh, we're at Maker North. Uh, we're going from about 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. today uh, and basically the vinyl listening party is a long-standing um, kind of tradition in town where we get everybody together and uh, we set a couple hours aside for people to bring their own vinyl from their houses uh, and play them in a social setting. Yeah absolutely it's our first year uh, we've only been open since June so this is the first go around of the sun for us you know every year we get a chance to be able to add things to what we do here at Maker North as well as 3D printing and prototyping you know what we're we, we strive to be a good community partner and share in the festivities that happen locally and I think that this is a perfect chance for us to expose ourselves to that crowd. Friends gathered at the Art Gallery of Algoma to support local author, poet and photographer Gordon Stone during his book signing on Saturday. Stone's book, Nature Speaks, Are You Listening?, is a compilation of his work throughout his life featuring photos from around the Algoma region as well as some of Stone's poetry. And uh, I had no idea that morning what I was going to do, and all of a sudden I'm walking along and bang, there it is. I wasn't looking for what I was looking, yeah. receiving, but I'd, I couldn't create that. An undermanned Hounds team was back on the ice just hours after closing out their 6-1 victory over the Sarnia Sting on Saturday. That was an important matchup with only eight games remaining and trailing the Spirit by four points for the West Division lead. The Hounds lost in overtime yesterday 4-3 to the Spitfires.